Today's question is, can you explain social anxiety? Mm. Well, yes, I can. This is one of those phrases that's thrown about by people who believe it's fashionable to use the names of actual disorders to describe something that is far less debilitating than the reality. I suppose it's in the same category as, you know, throwing around words like gaslighting and narcissistic and projection, all words that are thrown around out of context, and in doing so actually devalues the, tr the true struggle of people experiencing these things in reality. So social anxiety disorder is sometimes known as social phobia. And it's a type of anxiety disorder that causes a, an intense fear of social settings. People with the with the disorder have have trouble talking to people. They have trouble meeting new people, and they struggle with attending social gatherings. So they live in constant fear of being judged or scrutinized by other people. Now, they may know that their fears are somewhat irrational, but the feelings are so strong that they feel completely powerless to overcome them. Now, unlike shyness, for example, social anxiety is persistent and it's debilitating, and it can affect a, a person's ability to work, to attend school, and even to develop relationships with people outside of their immediate family you know, they they tend to avoid social settings like the plague. And talking to strangers is just a complete non-starter for somebody with social anxiety. So you can see that's not shyness. Now, surprisingly, the exact cause of social anxiety still remains completely unknown, somewhat unknown anyway. But research does suggest some kind of combination of both environmental and genetic factors, which contributes to the onset. So negative experiences, for example, such as bullying, maybe family conflict, sexual abuse, emotional abuse, these things are, are likely in in some way to be the, the most important contributing factors. Physical abnormalities such as chemical imbalances can also possibly be a contributing factor. But because there, there's such a wide variety of contributing factors, treatment of social anxiety would differ from one person to the next. They wouldn't be the same. There's not a one-size-fits-all treatment. So options for treatment include, of course, cognitive behavioral therapy, CBT, which helps people manage feelings of anxiety. Uh, there's also exposure therapy, which helps people face difficult social situations. And, of course, group therapy, which can be a a practical means of training social skills and interaction techniques. But what social anxiety is not is shyness. And by using it to describe shyness just dilutes the the true debilitating nature of the of the disorder. But that's the case with most fashionable words, isn't it? when they're thrown about and used too much, they actually start to dilute the actual struggle of the reality of living with a disorder like social anxiety. Okay, that's what social anxiety is. <laughs>